Hey, what's up guys? I've had the Ring Alarm second generation for a little over a year now and I wanted to do a long-term review. So I wrote down a list of topics to discuss starting with batteries, how long have the batteries lasted in terms of the keypad, the contact sensor, and the motion sensors, double-sided tape, which my contact sensors and uh, motion sensors have been using, have they failed, you know, have they fallen off and stuff. Failures, have I had anything fail, which I did have. And I did call customer service, so I'll talk about that as well. And false alarms, I have the Ring Protect plan, which is a professionally monitoring system. And I did have a false alarm and they did call me, so I do want to talk about that as well. And just in general, you know, what do I think about the system, whether it's worth getting, why or why not? So stick around if you guys want to find out. So as a quick recap, the Ring Alarm is a home security system similar to ADT and a few others where you get a keypad, you get uh, some sensors. So you get a contact sensor which you put on the door or window and you know if you were put on the window and you're opening it like this, it comes with a little magnet here as well I should say and if it gets away from the magnet that triggers the alarm or if you're opening up the door like this it triggers the alarm. Anywhere where this gets away from the little magnet part. And then you have a motion sensor, which you could put on different sensitivities and stuff. And keypads, which you can have more than one. So you can have one by the front door, one by the back door, or one by the garage, wherever you want to put them. And the base station, which is the part that makes the noise. This is the really the main system where you can only have one of these. And this is the thing that sounds off the alarm, which goes off at 105 decibels, which is pretty loud. And the cool thing about the base station is right now it's plugged in, but if I unplug it where it's completely wireless, it also has a battery inside which can last for up to 24 hours and it has its own cell phone, uh, well not really cell phone, but it has its own SIM card inside which it can call for help. So it has nothing to do with your phone, but this will only work if you have the Ring Protect plan. So. The, the SIM card is only if you have the Ring Protect plan. So good to know. So that's actually a good thing because if someone in theory they were trying to break in and they you know they turned off your breakers and stuff, so they turned off power to the house, this would still be on. And if they were to trigger one of these, it would still call for help, assuming you have the Ring Protect plan. Now the way the Ring Protect plan works is, again, if one of these uh, gets triggered, sounds the alarm, and then someone calls you uh, within 20 to 30 seconds. Now, if you accidentally trigger your own alarm and then you kind of rush to turn it off, if you do it within, I think, like maybe 15, 20 seconds, no one actually calls for help because they're, they're probably thinking that, oh, this is a false alarm. Now, I did have an incident where it went longer than that and I will discuss that in a bit. So let's start off with the batteries. Batteries, so with the keypad, it comes with its own micro USB cable for charging. So I charged that, fully charged about an hour or so, and I used it for a little over a year. I finally got the low battery sign about a week ago on this. So it's amazing that it was completely on battery powered for a little over a year. Now this will vary depending on your usage but it's pretty impressive that it lasted that long. Contact sensors comes with those 2032 batteries. Uh, these are specifically the Duracell DL 2032 but I think it's the same as the other all the other 2032 batteries. Uh, so far so good so it takes two of them and no issues whatsoever and these are pretty common batteries that you can find. The motion sensor lasted about six months or so with my own rechargeable batteries. The alkaline batteries themselves, I believe would last a little bit longer than these, but I mean, six months with my own rechargeable batteries, I think that's pretty good. Double-sided tape for the contact sensors, cause I'm using that. So far, so good. Nothing has fallen. Everything's been golden. In terms of failures, I had a contact sensor fail, which I will go to another video where I replaced it. The only real problem that I had is this contact sensor went bad, so it doesn't detect if the doors open or close. This is my front door, so I use it the most from all the other contact sensors. So on the Ring app, you can actually see that some of them are open. This one says closed because that's my front door. It should say closed now, but when I open it, it actually should say open. And it's pretty responsive normally. 
So I tried changing the batteries, I removed it, added it, reset it, I tried everything, didn't work. Then I called Rink's customer service, they troubleshooted it with me, and they also determined that it didn't work. So they actually just sent me a replacement and they sent me a return label, so I have to send this one back, otherwise they will charge me for this, which surely makes sense. Uh, I don't need it anyways because it doesn't work. So they also mentioned that if you have the Ring Protect plan, you actually get an additional year of warranty, even though I was technically, I called a few weeks ago, so I was still within the one year. But even if I called a little bit later, basically if I called now, because now technically I've had it just over a year, they would still replace it, which is really good to know. False alarms. Now I've had a few false alarms where I left the ring alarm on while I was in home mode and I accidentally opened up the patio door and that triggered the alarm. Now I turned off the alarm within maybe five to 10 seconds or so. And I think because I have the ring protect plan, which is professionally monitored, they usually, don't call me when I turn it off that quickly. I think they just think that, oh, it must have been a false alarm, which it was in my case. And I knew that because I was the one that triggered it. But this thing starts screaming at 105 decibels, pretty loud, um, just out of nowhere. And so then I pretty much either go to my phone or I go to the keypad quickly and I turn off the alarm. Now you can also do it with Alexa as well, but that usually takes a tad bit longer. It's That's more of a convenience feature. It's, it's not something you want to say while this alarm is screaming and it probably might not hear you. So it's easier to do it with the keypad or the phone. So one of the days this actually got loose. It was super early in the morning. I wasn't up yet. Everyone was sleeping and this got loose and it triggered a tamper. And so that caused the alarm to go off and I got up and I was at first I was like oh did something happen so I'm like slowly cautiously going but I'm like half awake half asleep and I see that like okay everything's okay and then I'm like okay let me try to go turn off the alarm and then when I try to go do that I hear my phone going off so I'm getting a phone call so this probably happened within maybe 20 seconds or so has elapsed and so Ring calls me, and again, I have the Ring Protect plan. So Ring called me and then she's like, is everything okay? And I'm like, uh, yeah, yeah, everything, everything's okay. But at the same time, she's asking me this, I'm barely hearing her because this, this thing is screaming and I just wanna turn off the alarm on the keypad or the phone or whatever. And so that's like my main thing. And again, it's super early in the morning, so I'm kind of like half awake, half asleep and stuff. So then she starts asking me questions like, do I need to send for help? You know, do I like someone break in? I'm, I'm like, no, no, everything's okay. And then she's like, what's your secret word? And then for a second, I kind of forgot about my secret word because the only thing I'm thinking of is like, dude, one thing at a time, like, let me turn off the alarm. Just give me a second. Uh, but while I'm doing that, um, I turned off the alarm and then I gave her the secret word and then she's like, okay, if you need anything, you know, just let us know. We're always here. We're always watching. And I was like, okay, this is awesome. So they're very good. And that lady that called me especially was uh, pretty amazing because she called me and she herself was also in a hurry to call for help. She wasn't, she didn't call like, yeah, is everything okay? Uh. No, she was like, is everything okay? Like, do I need to send for help? So you could sense the urgency in her voice. So, which was pretty crazy. So, you know, pretty awesome, I should say. So I feel like that would definitely be a good thing. Cause then if I, if this, something did happen, I could be like, yes, please send help right now. Uh, and then she would like, just, you know, just jump on it basically really quick and just send for help. I mean, I don't know how fast help would come, but the fact is she would request it quickly. So here's the contact sensor on the patio door. This is the little magnet piece that I was talking about. It's double sided and taped. This is the part that I took off. Now if I take this off, you see the little blinking red and then on the phone, you will actually get a tamper and tempered event that if I zoom in, if you guys could see that there. So it says tampered and that's actually what caused the alarm. But in general, if I close this, I mean, if I, so it was loose, I guess, and then it came off and that's what I got. So now if I see how it says closed, now if I open it, it'll say open. And then if I close it, it'll say closed. It's very, very responsive. And you'll see the little green light as well. So if I open it, you'll see a little green light. And there we go. 
So that's the contact sensor in a nutshell. It was a little loose. Now there is a little click part here and it does take some effort to take off. But again, you leave it like that, clicks in, should be good to go. So before I answer the question, is it worth getting Y or why not? I quickly want to say that I kept things at a general overview because I want to make this more of a long-term review and you know, did it break, did it not break, how good was customer service? That's kind of what I wanted to keep it at. But overall, I think the system is definitely worth getting, in my opinion. And in some of my other videos, I really go into great detail explaining all of the features, which again, I really didn't talk about in this video. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely check those videos out, especially my Ring Alarm App Tour video. That one, I really go into a lot of the features that this thing has. And now it has even more features than that because that video is about a year old. But keeping that in mind that this thing is packed with features, they keep adding more. It works very well with Alexa. It works very well with the other ring cameras. You know, they could turn on record when this thing gets triggered. You know, they take into account if you have pets with the whole motion sensors, you could put it on low, medium or high. Um, a lot of that stuff that I cover in other videos, but I think they're really listening to people and just making this thing better and better. And the Ring Protect plan is, I think, a pretty good price. It's uh, $100 a year if you pay yearly or $10 a month if you pay monthly. Um, but in that price, you get the professional monitoring system. So if something happens, they call for help. Uh, they call you. They want to know if they should call for help. If you don't respond, you know, they'll try the second number. If that one doesn't respond, if there's a third number or not, but eventually they call for help unless they call and you pick up and you're like, yeah, I need help right now. But they were very fast to respond with a very urgent tone. Like, Hey, do you need help right now? And like, Oh, Hey, what's up? What's going on? What'd you do over the weekend? It's like, no, like, Hey, do you need help right now? Like, should I send help right now? What, what's going on? Uh, kind of like with that tone. So that makes me feel, um, better knowing that, uh, I don't know, it's just like an extra sense of security. And I think it's a pretty good price uh, for what you're getting. So I definitely recommend this system. I'm pretty happy with it. Their customer service has been great as well. And for the most part, batteries have lasted for a very long time. Uh, everything's been pretty good. It's a pretty good solid system. I'm very happy with their customer service as well. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.